Greetings, everyone. We're going to go over a repeated measures ANOVA using JASP. This is a one-way repeated measures ANOVA. So um, let me uh, share my screen with you here. And what we see here is uh, four time periods in which uh, an exam was given. And so uh, maybe these are like, uh, you know, evaluations of, uh, of marriage at being newly married, um, five years, 10 years, and 15 years. And so um, from uh, here, uh, what I would do is I would go to ANOVA and I would choose repeated measures ANOVA. And I might put in uh, time, you know, and start naming my levels. Um, married, five years, 10 years, um, and uh, I need to click the tab button and add uh, 15 years. There we go. And um, notice this is uh, that, that in my repeated measure cells, all of these have been added. And then I just take these and move them over. And SPSS is already running my. Uh, uh, repeated measures ANOVA, but uh, before I move forward, I want to check sphericity. And uh, this is uh, um, checks for variability within the differences between the groups, and that those need to be consistent. It's, uh, it, it's similar to the homogeneity of variance assumption. And uh, notice that it's significant that I have not met the sphericity assumption. And so you're offered three corrections here and kind of the general consensus is to use uh, one of these two uh, corrections. I tend to go with the greenhouse geyser uh, correction. It is more conservative. The Heinfeldt correction is a little more liberal. And what this does, what these corrections do is adjust the degrees of freedom. So uh, since these corrections are needed because this was significant, uh, I'm going to click on sphericity corrections. If this was not significant, I would just interpret the, the, the value here. But uh, it is significant. And so uh, I'm going to focus on the greenhouse geyser uh, result. Um, and uh, then I'm going to also click on additional options. Um, I want. Uh, to, uh, descriptive statistics and estimates of effect size. And uh, um, let's just see what we have so far. We have uh, statistical significance with the greenhouse geyser result, accounting for 2.2% of the variance in the model. There was no between subjects effects. We're not looking at differences between groups. We're looking at differences across time. And uh, my descriptives table is here. So now we want to run uh, a post hoc analysis, similar as we did do a one-way ANOVA, but this time uh, looking at differences across time. This would be similar to a uh, uh, running repeated dependent t-test, but I want to adjust for uh, accelerated or increased uh, type 1 error. So I click on Bonferroni adjustment um, uh, to, to address those comparisons, um, or I could... Uh, uh, and that's a really conservative uh, adjustment, but um, uh, you know, and if I wanted to compare that to uh, a, a Tukey, I could do that as well. And we can look and see if the, there's differences here. Um, and uh, I'm gonna ask for effect sizes. Uh, and uh, let's look at our post hoc tests. Um, it's not running a Tukey, it's only gonna do that for the between group analysis. So that's good information. So I'm glad we ran this Bonferroni adjustment. So, um, and we can see each comparison between being married uh, to 10 years, uh, five years to 10 years, and 15 years to 10 years, and uh, all of how, how each group comparison plays forward and, and the effect sizes here. And so we can see, wow, there's significant differences between five and 10 years, be, uh, being newly married in 10 years, um, between five and 15 years, between being newly married in 15 years, but not between being newly married in five years. So that, that uh, you, know, you know, five years, you're kind of like a newlywed still. But um, afterwards, once you start to get to 10 and 15 years, it, 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 uh, marital satisfaction did appear to change. And, um, you know, and so we would go, wow, you know, P 
people seem, uh, uh, you know, might seem a little happier uh, at five years and 15 years, you know. Um, uh, why? Because that effect size is 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 negative, and 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 and, and marital satisfaction appeared to uh, uh, decrease. So uh, it's lower here and higher here. And how do we know that? Well, we can look and we can see. All right, its highest is that married in five years, and then it decreased afterwards. So uh, that's uh, an example of a repeated measures uh, one way ANOVA. Um, you know, email me if you have questions. Hope this is helpful.